right, Kate Grace, busy day here at the Dempsey pacing the mile. The teammate gets a PR at Dempsey record, and then you come back. Tough win after that, after that mile, but you get the win in the 800. How was, how was the day today? I was happy with it. Um, yeah, I paced for a while in the mile. Um, it was great to be able to set Bree up. Uh, we were just training in Flagstaff for like, what, four weeks together, and so we've had some good training together, and it was fun to watch her race well. Um, <laughs> sorry, choking a little bit. Um, and then the eight, I was a little bit nervous about, uh, just because it was a quick turnaround, but I, I wanted just to get that, kind of get some junk in my legs and then practice closing. Um, I definitely didn't set myself up great in that race. I did want to like kind of feel out the field out, but probably I got really boxed basically. Um, and so I think I thought it was going to spread out more and didn't. Uh, but yeah, so <laughs> I was really boxed, I went around, but I was really happy with my like last 200, able to close well. Um, we've been doing a lot of strength work, Not I did a few twos a few weeks ago, but I haven't touched a ton of speed, so it was nice to still be able to like close it down. Yeah, and we saw you kick really well a couple of weeks ago here in the 3K, you've been bouncing around mm -hmm. all types of distances. Uh, what do you need to work on in the next couple of weeks before Milrose? Um, I mean, this was basically like the choice of coming here was prepping for Milrose and then the Birmingham Thousand. Um, I think, I mean, I don't know, we're kind of, it's, it's so funny, indoors is so short, it's only two weeks away, so uh, it's not like I'm going to be doing, I don't think, like monster workouts, just continuing to kind of get a little bit more mile specific stuff. I'm excited, I love the armory. I also love it here. Um, this was also like a last minute thing that kind of came together just to fit something in before Melrose. And um, I don't know, it's so fun coming here and racing. I love Seattle. Um, Greg and UW just like put on, always put on a fun meet. So yeah, the track fans a little bit on the edge of their seats waiting for your announcement today. Uh, you obviously are with Nike, does it feel good to get that off the shoulders to be a sponsored athlete again? Yes, um, I am excited and I'm looking forward to, um, yeah, that like, it's it's good to be able to um, be confident and supported on the business side and then just be able to go out uh, and run fast races. Where is your confidence level now from where it was back in you know, the end of your outdoor season? I mean, it's always interesting running indoors because you're running a lot on like, strength work, I don't know, we were in flag, you can't do like a ton of fast stuff, so it's a different confidence in a way. Uh, it's more, I bring confidence from my teammates, um, like uh, yeah, Leah and Bree coming in, uh, just like in general, the NorCal program right now is really strong, um, and, um, but yeah, it's not, it's not like we're ready, it's, it's, it's not like, it's, it's a different sharpness, or lack of sharpness, I guess. Um, I think right now indoors is also just fun. My dad texted me before the race, uh, like it's the year of the rooster. Which I'm, not, I'm not sure what that meant, but like, but it's, I guess it's the, new Ch the Chinese New Year, right? Um, and I don't know. I just think track. I get um, sometimes we can make it into this like end of the world thing, but really like sports are fun. It's especially right now with I don't know the climate in the U.S. Like it's nice to re to be always co to, to, to come out here and like be reminded just of. I don't know, people can do great things and like come back from injuries and just like have fun stories and have the underdog win. Um, and I like try to really focus on that and focus on just like the human spirit in sport. Um, it motivates me and I'm excited to continue to, I don't know, have fun with it in the, in the indoor season and just, yeah, inspire people. You uh, kind of sound like you, you're able to recognize your, you have a special gift to be able to do this for a living and very peaceful. Yes, I'm very thankful for it. Um, thankful for all the people that I'm able to meet, um, that I have been in contact with in the past, um, and yeah, just like all the fans and support. Um, it's it's a fun it's a fun journey. Well, we look forward to it continuing. The rise of Kate Grace continues 202 today and facing the Thank you.